standard 8th subject english chapter number 2.1 which is a poem vocation this poem is written by rabindranath tagore the poem starts like this when the gong sounds 10 in the morning and i walk to school by our lane every day i meet the hawker crying bangles crystal bangles there is nothing to hurry him on there is no road he must take no place he must go to no time when he must come home i wish i were a hawker spending my day in the road crying bangles crystal bangles when at 4 in the afternoon i come back from the school i can see through the gate that house the gardener digging the ground he does what he likes with his spade he soils his clothes with dust nobody takes him to task if he gets baked in the sun or gets wet i wish i were a gardener digging away at the garden with nobody to stop me from digging just as it gets dark in the evening and my mother sends me to bed i can see through my open window the watchman walking up and down the lane is dark and lonely and the street lamp stands like a giant with one red eye in its head the watchman swings his lantern and walks with his shadow at his side and never once goes to bed in his life i wish i were a watchman walking the street all night chasing the shadows with my lantern now this poem is given the name vocation it starts with when the gong sounds 10 in the morning gong is a flat metal usually made of brass it is a flat metal bell on which we need to ring it with the help of a wooden stick a thick wooden stick it is usually used in the temples but here it is used to draw people's attention the sound made by this gong is very large it's attractive everyone gets attracted pays attention to it so when the gong sounds 10 in the morning which means when it is 10 o'clock in the morning i walk to the school by our lane the school is nearby near his lane every day i meet the hawker crying now every day when this person who is present in the poem when he passes through this lane he sees this hawker who is this hawker he is a bangle seller and what does he cry bangles crystal bangles here the bangles are not actually made of crystal they are made of glass but they are so shiny and beautiful they look like crystal bangles and every day i meet the hawker crying bangles crystal bangles there is nothing to hurry him on he is not in a hurry any time for anything there is no road he must take he is free to decide which lane he wants to cover how much time does he want to spend in one place there is no place he must go to it's not a necessity for him to visit a particular place no time when he must come home it's not fixed when he will return home depending on the customers and depending on the areas covered he can decide when to come back home i wish i were a hawker now the person in the poem wishes the poet wishes that i wish i were a hawker why because he wants to spend the day in the road crying bangles crystal bangles the poet thinks that the work of the hawker is so simple the life of the hawker is so good after doing this 
when at 4 in the afternoon it is 4 o'clock and I come back home from school and when I come back home from the school what does the poet see through the gate he sees the house the neighbor's house in which the gardener is digging the ground